everybody, it's Miss Leah from the Laurel County Public Library, and today we are out and about in our community visiting Ambulance Inc. I'm joined today by Captain David King, who is going to answer some of your questions that I've been gathering at the library about ambulance drivers, what they do, what's inside an ambulance, just different aspects of the job. So is that okay if I ask you a few questions? You sure can. Okay, the first question comes from Tristan, who's five years old. He would like to know how you help people, different ways that you help people. We help people a lot of different ways. It may not be just necessarily a, a heart problem. We may help them with the bandaging, a, a cut. We may be uh, there to uh, help them if their blood sugar gets low. We do all kinds of different things to help help people. We, we're, we're trained to do that, and that's what we, that's what we do. Well, what type of um, like classes or education goes into working in an ambulance, driving an ambulance? Well, there's, there's two different types of ambulance people. You have your EMTs and your paramedics. Mm -hmm. Your EMTs are just a lower branch of what a paramedic is. Uh, they aren't able to give as much medicine and stuff as such to a patient as what a paramedic can do. So an EMT, you can be an EMT in approximately eight, seven to eight months. A paramedic, you gotta go to college. Gotcha. So you have to have a degree. Gotcha. And it would be safe to say that we might have some books at the library that could help you Absolutely. in that, kind yes. of shift you in that direction, something like emergency care, yeah. just in case. Do you need to brush up on anything I today? I might need to, do you need to. You. Do you want me to leave this book with you so you can brush I, up on yeah, your emergency care, just in case? I mean, it, it always helps to kind of refresh your memory, right. I think. I like the way they're dressed. That, that's very nice. <laughs> you, want, you can keep this one today and read right. it if you, have it, you. you want to. I will. Or pop by the library and I could. you know check out. We've got all sorts of books. I, I can do that. Okay, so another question. Um, Ava, age seven, would like to know why you drive so fast. <laughs> well, it, we don't drive real fast. We we are allowed to go a little bit over the speed limit, but we still have to be cautious. We still have to obey the traffic laws. So it may seem like we're going fast, but a lot of times we're really not. But it's just to get the patients to. Right, right. You know, it, you know, when we can't get there to help patients, then it's no, you know, doing no, nobody any good. Right. So we have to be cautious when we drive. Okay. So John Barry, age nine, would like to know if you don't have time to get to the hospital, can you perform surgery in the back of an ambulance, of a moving ambulance? No, no. <laughs> um, no we cannot. We can do a lot of things uh, to a patient, but performing surgery, we. We're not, we can't do that, it's up to the doctors. Uh, what we can do is start IVs, uh, give medicine that way, oxygen, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Just keep them stable keep until them stable. you can reach, That's right. reach a doctor. Okay, so is it noisy in the back of an ambulance? My, my friend Green, he's 11 years old, he, he knows a lot of things. So he would like to know, is it noisy in the back of an ambulance? It can be. Uh, a lot of times if you have multiple people in the back working and you're doing a lot of different things, it could be noisy. As far as hearing things outside, you really can't. Mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you'll hear the siren if, if you're going, uh, but other times it, it stays pretty quiet. How many people typically are inside an ambulance? Like how many people are on a team or on a crew that would, that would travel in an ambulance at any given time? We travel with two. We travel with an EMT and a paramedic, and uh, the paramedic will ride the back. So. Sometimes we'll have more back there depending on the condition of a patient. Sometimes right. we may have to take a nurse. Gotcha. You know, so usually it's just two. Gotcha. Okay, so do you happen to know the inner workings of the ambulance and what makes it go so fast? Or is that a completely different video altogether? Well, <laughs> believe it or not, these ambulances are pretty much just like the trucks right. and everything else. They're just made bigger. So uh, there's really nothing different from your standard trucks. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. Okay, Melody, age eight, would like to know why you keep your lights on. And I would like to know about your sirens, like how many different types of sirens. I know at the police department, we learned that they have one siren, but it makes different sounds. So can you explain a little bit about your lights and your sirens? Okay, we, uh, of course we run our lights when we're going to a call. Uh, depending on a patient, we may have to run lights to the hospital also. Uh, other than that, we don't run our lights. Right. Uh, siren, we're, we're the same as the police. We, we have just a box that has different settings, just like the police do. Right. So it's, it's real similar. Is it, I know they, they told me it was just to get driver's attention, to it kind is. of move everybody out of it the is. way. It is. A lot of times we have, a, you know, we need to get somewhere, 
it's tough to get there when people aren't paying attention. Right. So that's what the siren, we actually have horns on here too. Gotcha. You know, get somebody's attention. We don't want to scare them. Right, but right. Still, we want Well, then that might cause another, another uh, emergency. Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, so you kind of touched on this a second ago, but is there anything else you'd like to talk about, different things that happen inside an ambulance? Brianna, H7, sort of just wanted to know the different types of things that might ha happen inside an ambulance. Are there anything other, anything other than like saving a life? Um, do you tell jokes when you're do. waiting? <laughs> I mean, do you read books? Do you read books? We do, we have to. Yes. We read a lot of books. Right. Uh, we have to research, we have to continually keep our training up, so each year, every two years, we have to recertify. So we're taking classes and we're doing things and reading books right. uh, to keep our certification. So did you know that at the library, if you have a library card, you can download ebooks that you might be able to have on a device like your phone or a Kindle or a Nook? or an iPad or an iPod or all that cool stuff that I don't know a grand amount about. But you can learn about it at the library. You could download books and read in your spare sure. time. Did and you we, know that? I'd heard of that. We actually, uh, a lot of our crews do carry iPads and even their phones and they right. will, and I'm not technically smart about that, they can read off their phone or their iPad. Can you send them to the library? Sure. We can help them download some books. Well, absolutely. They need a library card. We can do that for them though. All right, so now this is the last book that I've got. Okay. What's inside an ambulance? So do you care to show me what's inside an ambulance? And then we can read this book and compare it and sure. see how it matches up. I'm is that okay? To. Absolutely. Okay, let's take a walk, Captain King. Yes, All right, Captain King, we've been reading this book about what's inside an ambulance. So do you care to show me and show the kids some different things that are inside this ambulance that may not be? in okay. this book. Sure. Um, over on this side of the ambulance we have our oxygen, uh, we have gloves, we have electrodes, which electrodes are things that you put on your chest, you've probably seen those. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a, a device here that's a suction device in case you get a little sick, we'll help you out there. Right here is our monitor that we can actually look at the heart, we can actually see what's going on with it, and not only do we get to see it, the hospital can see it. And we have bandages up here, uh, more sheets over here, and then these bags here have different types of uh, IV fluids, they have uh, different splints, and this bag here actually has the medicine that we give patients. Neat, neat. So I'm noticing this stretcher here. Are these comfy? No. So we don't, we're not going to take no. a nap today on this, no, so it's not going to be comfy. They're not real comfortable, but right? they don't really complain. <laughs> well, they're necessary right. to get us to the hospital. That's right. So what would these straps be for? Well, just like any time you get into a vehicle, mm -hmm. you have to buckle up. You have to buckle up here. Right. Since I guess while you're driving, that way you're not Absolutely. moving yeah, we around. Have to, we, have to, we have to strap you in just to keep you from moving and you know, it's a lot. Right, <laughs> so. right. Um, so you said that there is a paramedic and an EM? EMT. EMT that mm -hmm. will ride in an ambulance. Do family members ever come inside an ambulance with you or does it depend on the age of the patient? It really depends on the age of the patient. Um, you know, we don't really encourage it. Right. But uh, if, you know, if it's a baby or something like that, of course. Right, right. Well, is there anything else that you can think of that you would like to, to talk about? Uh, really, I, there's nothing else that we've not gone over uh, just remember you know if you're ever in the back of one of these ambulances it's not a scary place it's kind of roomy you know, a little right. bit we're not here to hurt you we're here to help you right and, right uh, you know, hopefully you're not but if you are we'll take the best care of you yeah sounds good sounds good well guys if there's anywhere that you would like for me to visit and, and get an inside look at, you can email me, you can call me at the library, but come and visit me, get a card. Captain King is gonna get a card. So come, be cool like Captain King, get a library card, come in the library. We've got all, all types of books about ambulance drivers, police officers, firemen, cats, dogs, sharks, any type of career that you would like to have. So I guess that's all that I have. I might take a little nap while I'm here. You're more than welcome to. I'll shut the doors and give you some privacy. Can you turn the air conditioning on? <laughs> we could do that. Yes, yes. Well, Captain King, thank you very, very, very much. Welcome. 
I, I won't take a nap. I guess I'll scoot out of the way, get back to the library. The kids at the library need me. But a special thank you to you. Very special well. thank you to Amy and Sink. See you later, guys. Don't put that in there. It's in there. Don't. It's totally in there. Don't. Okay. What did I say? The way things are, we... we uh... <laughs> <laughs>